my Columbine and Digitalis Foxglove. By annual, they were planted seeds last year, and this year they will bloom. Well, it's been breezy for several days, and today is no exception. You can look at the stuff howling. I got to work on this fig tree. Uh, would have liked to have cut some of the big branches off last year, but we ran out of time. I've already started cutting on this the other day, and. I was waiting to see what's going to come out on it. Now you can tell that these that grew last couple years ago, they're all dead. That whole branch is dead, so I know I can remove. I'm slowly getting this side done. That mark in there, I did not cut. That's an old mark from something. Uh, if it was a saw cut years ago, it healed over, but I cut that off. And sometimes, like this is all dead, you can tell it's dead. This is pretty dead. That was facing up. I'm looking at this side. <coughs> so you would go, why would you cut off these shoots? But see, the bark is falling off. See that little crack right in there? See this? So they wouldn't last, they wouldn't make it. So you can see right here that all this part is dead and that little part down here is alive. A little over a third still alive, but it won't be by the end of the season. So you might as well get it off as close as you can to the tree. Anyway, back to work. Well, I was going to film this back in their yard, but we're at the county landfill, and this is what I took off of that fig tree. Went down to Greenwood. And now we're going to put it at the landfill, and we'll be done. Well, it's still windy, and that's what our tree looks like now. It took about, I don't know, and I have two hours. We had to take stuff to the dump. And we cut off everything that was dead back to good wood. And there is some growth on it. I'm not really thinking this tree's gonna make it. We might get a few figs off of it. Uh, we did have to cut off some good with the dead wood. And I would think with a decent spring, with all the roots that are in the ground, it ought to send up a lot more water shoots from the roots and the ones and a couple of weeks ago I trimmed this uh, tree back and then I think I did the rest of it last weekend we've gotten all the elevation down we've cut all the water shoots off most of them and those right there you can see I can't quite reach I could take my little uh, lopper that's on a long pole and, and get them off and most of the ones that were real tall we cut them back to like two buds, four buds. Like in, you can see that one is sort of turned and going up. And I don't know if you can really see up in here. I've cut all the water shoots off and most of the long ones I've cut back. And a little bit of overcast. And here's our crab apple we planted last year. And that will be a branch, and this will be a branch, and that will be a branch, and that will be a branch. We'll have one almost on all four sides. And then I don't, if I cut the terminal bud off right now, my branches would come out here, and I'd rather get them up here. So once this grows a bit, I'll cut it off, and then the branches will come out for the second tier up here.